Good morning, and I do hope you're well. Our Monday readings are from Isaiah for the next few weeks. Today's is from Isaiah chapter 40, and one that we more normally associate with Advent rather than Epiphany. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low, the rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures for ever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on the high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms, and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, or with the breadth of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket, or weighed the mountain on the scales, and the hills in a balance. Who can fathom the spirit of the Lord, or instruct the Lord as his counsellor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him, and who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge, or showed him the path of understanding? Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. They are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands, as though they were fine dust. Lebanon is not sufficient for altar fires, nor its animals enough for burnt offerings. Before him, all the nations are as nothing. They are regarded by him as worthless and less than nothing. When we read Isaiah 40 in Advent, our focus is on the text, a voice of one calling, in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord, Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. But now that we are in the season of Epiphany, our focus is perhaps on another part of this passage. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Epiphany means a revelation. And in the season of Epiphany, the Church celebrates the revelation of God incarnate as Jesus Christ, with particular reference to the coming of the wise men. Isaiah, writing around 400 years before Jesus was born, writes about a time when the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together, not just the Jews, but everyone. Where is the shepherds that came to worship the baby Jesus in Luke's account of the Gospel story would have been Jews, the wise men in Matthew's account, were from the East, and would have been Gentiles like us. So the infant Jesus was worshipped, not just by Jews, but by representatives of the Gentiles. And long before inclusion gained prominence in our thinking or theology, one of the wise men has long been depicted in art as black. As early as the 8th century, Balthazar was described as fuscus, that is, dark, perhaps even black. So over the next few weeks, 
Let us think about the revelation of God incarnate in Jesus Christ and what this means to us and to the world. <clears throat> and now let us pray. First of all, a prayer for Epiphany. The King's Lord brought myrrh, frankincense and gold. Lord, we have nothing of our own to bring. We bring you what you have given, our lives for your life. Amen. We continue to pray for peace in Ukraine, using a prayer by the Bishop of Oxford. God of compassion, have mercy this day on the people of Ukraine. Restore to them the gift of peace. Grant wisdom to the governments of the world. Bring good in the midst of evil and suffering, for the sake of Jesus Christ your Son, who gave his life to bring peace to your world. Amen. And now we bring all our prayers together in the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Stay safe. Our Monday evening prayers for Ukraine continue at St John the Baptist Church, Cookham Dean tonight. And remember that Richard Simmons will lead our prayers on Friday.